All right, welcome back, everyone. This week's Picture of the Week is being brought to you by Flowers Garden Center. They're going to hold off on deer pressing until deer season, so it's Garden Center, of course. Our first picture. Hey, this has been the talk for a while now, for about a week and a half now. This is Gabe Keen with the new state record largemouth bass that weighed 15 pounds and two ounces. It was caught on an A-rig on Chickamauga Lake on February the 13th. And I happen to know from a good friend of mine that taught Gabe Keen how to fish. And he said, this boy loves to fish Chickamauga. I couldn't think of anybody more deserving then than, than that one. Hey, this is from Julie Hedrick. This is an 11 and a half pound largemouth bucket mouth, David from Kentucky Lake. <laughs> With those sleeves right there, I don't think he caught that this week. <laughs> no, it wasn't this week. It wasn't this week. <laughs> You're right. It wasn't while. this week. Hey, this is a good friend of mine. This is Tim Prosser. Uh, you know him from the Hermitage uh, House Smorgasbord. Uh, Tim Prosser with a nice Wilson County buck that he harvested in December 2014. And our last picture here, this is his brother Bob Prosser, Prosser that's preparing the venison and duck breast fillets for making jerky. Many great recipes are available on his website. Enjoy your wild game harvest until the next season comes around. That's Bob Prosser, and they both are out there at Hermitage House Smorgasbord. You can send your pictures to us here, Southern Woods and Waters, 474 James Robinson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219, or simply email them to me at hugh at southernwoodsandwaters.com. We'll get them on here really, really fast. Uh, got a bunch of them coming in. Hey, we got some nice pictures of musky being caught. Big musky. Calf killer, Caney Fort River, mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's that time of year. And I know everybody's waiting for it to warm up, waiting for it to warm up. But you know, more of the big fish are caught during the winter months yeah. than at any other time of the year. So put on more layer of clothes and get on out there and see if you can catch some. I, I'm looking for some four pound crappies. <laughs> <laughs> Our guest tonight we have with us, we have Howard Blaze. Howard, uh, thank you so much for being on with us. You're with Nashville Bassmasters. You are talking about the 25th annual Frostbite Tournament that's going on this Saturday. Where? Faith Sanders. It'd be from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. Four weigh-ins, 9, 11, 1, and 3. You bring in your biggest bass for those weigh-ins. Um, big fish tournament. Big fish tournament. And there'll be an overall prize based on 100 anglers of $1,700. Mm -hmm. The breakdown. Got to get my glasses on. The breakdown for the hourly is uh, first place 300, second place 175, third place 150, fourth place 125. We also have something we're doing different we call the target bass. Yeah. If you can bring one in exactly 3.47 pounds, you'll win $250 at any time during the day. How many uh, times do you get to weigh it in? <laughs> <laughs> All fish weighed in will belong to us. Oh, okay, uh, oh, okay, uh, okay. We All will right. release them. <laughs> also, the lightest bass. The lightest bass. Is $150 of the day. Joy, we got that one. Well, we got that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can do that pretty easy. <laughs> All right, so it starts at uh, 7 a.m. 7 a.m., goes till 3. Right. Uh, sign up right there at Fight Sanders inside the, is it going to have the sign We're up inside be, the we're going to be in the restaurant, in the restaurant. at okay. 5 a.m. And breakfast will start being served at 4. At 4. Okay. That's awesome. All right. Well, i tell you what. They're going to need this, aren't they? It's beeping at me. I don't know. It's what talking to me. It's saying we need to go lake and not sit here in the <laughs> it, studio. It's not liking this non-attention. That's, right. That's right. That's right. David, it's that time of year. Yeah. It's wintertime, and these fronts keep coming through on a pretty regular basis. Here we go. Snow, snow, snow. Right. These fronts keep sending them, either suspending them or setting them back. Right. If you don't have this, or you don't, or at least you got it, but you don't know how to use it. Right. That's like, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, you got to know a little bit about what's going on. Now, how many birds come out with they're the first ones with side injury. Right. They're the first ones that came out with down skin. They're the first ones that came out with 360. Right. 
so Hummingbird's kind of setting the tone. Yeah, this is a new Hummingbird Onyx, and Onyx came out last year, mm -hmm. and, and now they've introduced a whole line of them. And um, to be honest, I've been running Hummingbirds for a long time, and I ran 1198s and 1199s. They're sort of 10, 10 11 inch screens, and I loved them. And I called my Hummingbird guy this year and said, I need to order my units. And he said, well, we want you to run the Onyx. And I said, no, I don't want to be the guinea pig for your new technology. I know how to use this other stuff. But I, I've got two Onyx on my boat right now. And it, it has taken me a little bit. The buttons are a little different. The screens. Right. And I'll, sh I'll, I'll kind of walk you guys through some of this stuff here. But what it can do is just incredible, and it really is pretty user friendly once you once you get to get to looking at now it. Now I so. want to tell everybody before we get started, okay. because we're going to touch on a few things. Right. We may not give you everything. That's right. But <laughs> but you, D David's going to be at Four Seasons Outdoor Sporting Goods in Centerville, Tennessee, uh, owned and operated by a good good friend of mine, Chris Hughes. You got to go visit him. That's this Saturday. Yep. I'm going to be there at 10:30. Um, what we're doing is, again, he's having kind of a, a, a sale special open for the house, spring right. open house. But we're doing um, dinner, like a like mm -hmm. barbecue catered lunch. Mm -hmm. It is $15 to attend the seminar. I got Chris's number right here at uh, at the store is 931-729-0600. So call Chris and let him know that that you want to come out and, and attend the seminar. But I'm going to spend two hours. And that $15 helps pay for the lunch, too. That's right. Yeah, yeah, includes yeah, lunch. Includes so, lunch. I mean, it's the same thing you would pay for lunch somewhere <laughs> else, and you get to sit there and you have to listen to me for two hours. But I'm going to spend two hours. The first hour, I like to kind of introduce all the subject matter. You know, explain what sonar does. Explain what side imaging does. I'll talk a little bit about GPS, mapping, that type of stuff. Talk about the down imaging. Because a lot of people are pretty scared of it. You know, yeah. you think... Man, that, that thing's got a whole lot of buttons on it, and it's got a whole lot of menus. And you really, really can simplify this. You need to know how to use these tools, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. And that's, that's, right. that's what I do in my seminars, is I try to, I won't say dumb it down is not the right word, but just make it so that the average guy can say, all right, there's three things that I need to know about this hummingbird or my Lowrance or my Garmin or whatever. Yeah. I, you know, I'm a hummingbird guy, but the principles apply across the board. Oh. And you can take all of those units and I'll teach you how to put three shortcuts or four shortcuts and then you don't have to worry with all the menus. You get right. them set up, you spend an hour sitting in your garage or a couple hours sitting in your garage getting things set up and then the rest of the season you're pretty good. It doesn't take nearly the tinkering. It doesn't take a PhD to run one of these things. It does take a little bit of time initially to get things set up right. But, but that's what I'm going to talk about. How to get things set up right. That's sort of my first hour. My second hour is going to be let's get down and dirty. Let's talk about what bass look like. Let's that's talk right. about you know bait fish. Let's talk about what shell beds look like. I don't really want to tell everybody what shell beds look like. We talk oh. about we, we'll talk about island across the flat and being able to identify, you know, uh, clumps of grass, those type of things. So I, I'll I'll spend a couple hours, and and if you don't know how to use one of these, or you got one sitting on your boat that says all I know how to do is turn it on, come see us at uh, at, at Four Seasons, and I'll teach you how to do that. Because mainly, I mean, have you got you've got it under yep. simulation? Yep. Let's let's go to the side imagery. Okay. Uh, let me show you something really cool about these hummingbirds. This is a this is a touch screen. And so what I did here, and this is not a hummingbird commercial, but I've got a menu and what I've done is I've saved all the views that I like. And again, this is just in simulation. So I can sort of slide this around and choose whatever view I like. Right. So what we'll look at to start with is I'm gonna pull up this view, which is the side imaging uh -huh. along with sonar. Now again, this is just simulation. The cool thing is, if I'm looking at this and I say, you know, I really like the, the look of that side image, and I want to put that full screen. Just two fingers. Two fingers, and it pops up full better. screen, and, and I can look at that. So I will give you guys a few. I, I really want to give a teaser, because I want yeah, people to come yeah, to my we seminar. Want, we want but to but I'll, I'll give you a few hints. I think one of the biggest mistakes people make on the side imaging is they try to look at too much, OK? I know these things say that they'll look out 250 feet to either oh, side yeah, of the boat, yeah. but do you know how small a bass is from 250 feet? He's a little, it's a little, thing. It's a little bitty <laughs> tiny speck. So one of the things that I'm going to do, and again, I'm not going to give you all all my secrets yet because I want you to come to my seminar, but I can set my range. And right here is my range, and I'm going to dial that down with this fancy little hummingbird knob here. Well, let's do my finger. That'll be quicker. 
All right, never mind, I'm gonna do the knob. I'm gonna dial it down to about 65 feet. There we go, 63. And you see what just happened? Oh, you got bigger. Okay, you see how much bigger, These. this is, again, this is a simulation, but these are bait fish. And all of a sudden they pop up a whole lot bigger. Now, yes, I can't see that rock that's 200 feet away from the boat, but it's gonna show up so tiny if I look at that much distance. Right. And so I do some on the water training too when time allows. I've got a job, so it's kind of hard to do as many yeah. of those as I'd like to. You're really but, a good audiologist. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But one of the biggest mistakes I'll see is I'll get in somebody's boat, and they're looking at 200 feet or even 150 feet either side. It's too much. And it's really hard to see what you're looking at. So I'll just go through this if we've got a minute just to kind of yeah. explain what we're looking at. So for those of you who don't understand side imaging, side imaging is basically a transducer that mounts to the back of your boat, and it is shooting out to either side. So we're used to, for years and years and years, we've looked at sonar. Sonar shoots underneath the boat, but this is looking out to the side. So I tell people in my seminars, this is kind of like the movie The Matrix. You ever seen that? Yep, yep, yep. That guy's staring at that screen and it's all the little numbers going everywhere and all of a sudden he can read what's going on. I yeah. think looking at side imaging is a little bit like that because <laughs> it does take some time. You know, the, the new guy that's always looking at it is always turning his head yeah. sideways because what you're looking at is this is where your boat is. This is the right side of the boat, and this is the left side of the boat. The black part that you see right here is the water underneath the boat. So it's from the bottom of the boat to the bottom of the lake. This is where the bottom now, of the lake is. Is that a cone yes. or is it straight? It's a cone. It's, it's a, a cone. cone. Yeah, because the side imaging, I mean, the uh, I'm sorry, the, the sonar or the down scan will get the middle. Okay. This kind of gets about a 20 degree angle and goes out. Okay. So right here you're looking at the bottom, and then now it's shooting out to the right side of the boat. I just told that to stop. Let's not tell it to, let's tell it to keep going. So what you're seeing right here is this is just the bottom to the right side of the boat. This is the bottom to the left side of the boat. So just a, just a couple hints here, and this will hopefully this simulation will pull up something cool in a minute. The lighter the color, the harder the bottom. Okay, so if you're looking, for example, right here, let me pause that for a second. All right. If you can, I don't know if you can zoom in right here if we, we've got it where you can see, but it goes from a lighter color to a darker color. What that tells me is that is a hard bottom changing to a mud bottom. So we talk about the Tennessee River. I'm always looking for hard shell beds, shell rock, bed. that type, same thing at Priest. Lots of rock, but if you find a point that's got a whole lot of mud and then you find a spot with some rocks on it, they're liable to catch the big bass on Saturday. You know, That's those right. are the kind of places that you're looking for. All right, hold on, David. Right. Hold on. We're going to stop right there. We're teasing them enough right now. <laughs> but we got to take a break, visit some more of our fine sponsors, come back with more of David Genevico. We're going to call him Dr. David here in a minute. <laughs> Be right back with more of Southern Woods Waters. Water. 